Welcome to another Game Order production. I am proud to present to you another fun-filled adventure with George Stobart. And what will likely be the last of Broken Sword ever, Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. I've actually started this a couple times now. I'm going to start this again. And of course, we're going to run the tutorial. Hello and welcome. Firstly, we'd like to show you how to discover and interact with interesting things in the environment. In this case, a humble red arrow. Move the mouse pointer to the red arrow tip and an animating magnifying glass will appear. Click the left mouse button to interact with it. Well done. That's how you discover and interact. You know what? Screw this. We know how to play adventure games. But the serpent was wiser than all the animals that were in paradise. And God cursed the serpent and called him devil. And he said, Behold, Adam has become like one of us, knowing evil from good. Battle not with monsters, lest ye become a monster. And if you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Welcome, my hordlings, to the fifth and final installment of the Broken Sword series. I am your motherfucking Welcome to the Ghetto Boom Shakalakian host. The Game Order. Catalonia, Spain, 1937. Normally it was uploading my adventure games in 30 minute segments, but I think. I'm going to do Broken Sword in our segments. No commercials or ads. We must go now. Papa! Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Xavier, the painting! A malediccio. This way. Signora, it is too late. Go. No, Papa. Signor, in here. Search them. Of Horse. Paris in the present day. Paris in the spring. Passion, romance, l'amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent, just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, Josh. We should catch up. Let's have lunch. Nobody move! No, monsieur, not la malediction. Oh. Stay back. 
Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. Damn, the Paris ghetto! A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. The gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. I didn't have much time. All right. We get the different icons for the thingies. Got our save menu, restore menu. Hence, main menu. Just ninety thousand for this one. The alarm still worked on that painting. I wondered why the stolen paintings alarm hadn't sounded. The label said it was painted in nineteen thirty two. The gallery wanted eighty grand for it. Only eighty grand? With luck, the security camera had captured the robbery. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. Another alarm working as it should. The bus was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't want to knock it off. The bus is busty. Let's check out the stolen painting area. This was where the stolen painting had hung. Why that painting? And why kill for it? The stolen painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. So, the alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. Hmm. The door was locked with a keypad. If I wanted to get in there and look at the CCTV footage, then I'd need to find the number. Let's talk to the old priest. The priest was giving last rites to the gallery owner. I didn't want to interfere. Excuse me, Father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. I know these things. And now, excuse me, I must pray. One minute I'd been planning dinner with Nico. The next I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. All right, we got the priest away from the body. Let's examine it. Got some eau de toilette. In Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of bread. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. It was too intriguing not to take a look. It read 2.30 p.m. 
be ready. Innocent enough until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced them. This guy was in on it. He definitely looked better. I put the glasses back where they were. Best to leave the evidence the way I found it. Nah, he looks cooler like that. Poor guy. A cryptic note in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I definitely needed to check out that office. Spanish modernists certainly didn't come cheap. Absent. The poster looked old. I didn't want to touch it. That is what she did not say. Got some champagne glasses down here on the ground. Some broken champagne, some chewing gum. Let's talk to this old fat man. It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. We'd met before. It hadn't ended well. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guessed he'd only fainted. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. In the pocket was a pair of nail clippers. We'll they were take those. With the letters H L. All right, we got in our inventory some. Ah, to a toilet. The beast. Time to awaken the beast. <laughs> Ooh, what? like he farted in his face. It's a green shit cloud. <laughs> smells what like ass. It smells like, like the seventies. Same thing. Where am I? You fainted. Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. This guy's lazy. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. Damn. Yeah, just leave it there. It's cool. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Now give it here. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now what's been going on? I oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Excuse me. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed. In the Glees Gallery? Of course. The man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Let's ask about Henry. Did you know the gallery owner? Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? 
Henri provided the space. I was the creative powerhouse. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. If Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code to that door. So, you help run this place? Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat up. Mr. Lane, you're really going to have to give me the code to that door. And why, pray, should I do that? Because the way the cops will see it, you're the prime suspect. We both know you're innocent, Mr. Lane, but the cops, well, they may not see things so simply. I might be able to get them off your case, but in exchange, I'd like the code for the office door. But that's preposterous. The police would have neither evidence nor motive. Funny you should mention that. Someone sabotaged the alarm on the stolen painting. A wire was cut. What? Who could have got into the alarm system? Exactly. It was an inside job, Mr. Lane. You're not suggesting that I... Well, I'm afraid that's the way the cops are going to see it. That's preposterous. How could I possibly have cut the wire? Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? Yes, they have my initials monogrammed on them. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stolen painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? I had no reason to kill Henri. No motive whatsoever. Okay, but I don't think the cops will see it like that. And I sure would like <laughs> that door code. It's got this guy between a rock and a hard place. This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I was onto something here. Oh, I think I we will. Lane was sweating. It wasn't pretty. How about it, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. How could I have cut that wire? So, you'd been out of town and hit the sack early last night? That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. Hmm. The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. Now you can talk to this little robot. Audio there we go. I'm your friend. Call me Joey. I guess that's all he'll talk to us. But you want to click on those little robots every time you see them, whether you're playing George or Nico.
monsieur. There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, really? You don't sound surprised. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's <coughs> hard not to. The gallery owner, Henri, was shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. Right. Did you know him well? This guy's very cryptic for a waiter. Or another human being, monsieur. He spent little time at the cafe, unlike his friend, monsieur Lane. What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? It's bourgeois, vacuous, and upright. That's the blue lizard, in case you didn't Just know. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest flusier. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yes. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill and tell him to pay up next time. The check was from last night. But Lane told me he was nowhere near the gallery. This could be the leverage I needed to get the office door code from Lane. Thank you for your consistent indifference, monsieur. Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. All right. We have some leverage. Let's show Mr. Lane his bill. Take a look at this. What of it? It's your bill from the cafe next door. So? It's dated yesterday. Last night, in fact. 12.30 to be exact. You said you were out of town. You sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Tell you what, you give me the code of the door and the police need never know. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Lane. You are a blackmailer, Stobart. Just doing my job. All right. You have me. The number is 6397. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. I had the code. The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. Merci beaucoup. What was that number again? 642... No. Everyone, hold it right there. Oh, shit. Damn it. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Now, nobody move, especially you on the floor. Move, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out, apart from me, of course. A few minutes later. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mou. Our paths had crossed before. Sergeant Mou, we meet again. Ah, 
Ah, Madame Cola, an unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Navi. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And I must correct you, Madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon Dieu! That poor man! All right, what should we ask about? Who is Inspector Nave? Let's ah, ask about the most Navet. promising young investigator on the force. A genius, a man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. All right. I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Cola. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Navi. Sometimes you need to speak that about that is not to be the disturbed. same subject twice. He is applying Maybe his more. famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and want to go home. You'll see this opens a new piece of dialogue. Now we can ask about him being tired. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. A gendarme never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last... Uh, incident. Let's ask him about the incident. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was I very pissed myself. unfortunate. I am on duty and I need to focus. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sergeant Mu. You've been so helpful. Madame. Bonjour, Monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then why are you standing here? You would not understand, Madame. Try me. Because I look at you and I know you are like all the others. The others? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days, their almond croissant. Uh, that bad, huh? <laughs> And the men with their grooming products and their shiny shoes and their skinny suits who come to my cafe and ask me for lattes, macchiatos, frappe. I see your point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality. Fraternity. Vive la Revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? No, madame, no! It was French Café Noir that inspired us. The simple demitas. The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you closed? Yes, madame. 
I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy ears, are none of those things. This is a cafe. Yes, to the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. But there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. Yeah, this guy kind of is a douche. Maybe if we show him our press card. Here's my press card. La liberté. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? La Liberté, the great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Perhaps you will walk that road with me? Could we have a little chat? Any time, madame. Now we've won this guy over with our charisma, let's ask for some coffee. How about some coffee? For you, madame, of course. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong, and in a tiny cup. One moment. Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. The coffee was hot and strong. Let's get some takeaway coffee. Would you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. As Nico, I think we can still click on this robot. Help me, Nico Collard. You're my only hope. Doesn't look like he's saying anything else, though. Salut. Bonjour, madame. Sergeant Moo, I brought you a coffee. Coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. But wait. I must not. My little problem. I'm sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. I am tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your little problem? It is a tale of woe, madame. I'm only a Sasha. Well, since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the president himself. One day, on vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature came to call. So I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret pee-pee 
What the fuck is when a I secret PP? The dog was having a liaison dangereux with the Lady Minister's terrier. But how did they find out? Well, two months later, the President's Labrador gave birth to six beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the President's divorce came through. You are a victim of a great injustice, Sergeant. No shit. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the President himself. Well, the President's dog. Ah, it was the same thing. Yes, I suppose. And by drinking that coffee, you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious Republic. Your career! Mm. Now you put it like that? And now France is calling you again. She is saying, drink, Sergeant Mu! Drink! She is? She is. Drink or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to be? I suppose it is... drink? Bravo, Sergeant! You have failed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Excuse me, madame. You must go on secret I must use now. the petit gendarme's room. It has gone straight through me. Could you watch the gallery door for me? Oh, you can count on me, sergeant. I distracted Mu. It what was the now fuck? or never. Seriously, that's the pisser? That's a weird pisser. How did you get past Sergeant Moo? Huh. Well, you won't fool me so easily, madame. I shall question you later. Nico, am I glad to see you. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. Poor Henri is dead. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out, the alarm was tampered with. It looks to me like an inside job. So, no ordinary robbery? And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that La Maledizio is evil. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. Nico's not wearing any underwear. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, Madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. Unless you know something I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved gore. All right, we're not getting anywhere with him Thanks, for Inspector. now. I'll let you know if I remember anything else. If right, I was we need to, to pick up George's mess here. I needed to unearth new evidence or concoct some. And the bloodier, the better. The bloodier, the better. Tomato stain. The tomato sauce had splattered That's pretty on the bloody. floor. I spread some of this sauce around with my shoe. It looked a little bit like a blood stain, but it still wasn't right. If I was going to distract the cop, I had to get rid of that gun. Grab it. 
No way was I going to clean that up with my bare hands. You fucking press. That wouldn't make sense. Oh, it totally would. No, that would never have worked. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. So picky. That, that looks like a blood stain. Yeah, totally. Inspector. Yes? Dude looks like he could break down a wall with that nose. Have you seen the stain Jesus. on the floor over there? A fucking it hammer. Looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately before one of these idiots steps in it. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it is time to employ the machine. Okay, Josh. That should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away, but I needed to be quick because it wouldn't take him long. So there's other secrets you have in this game. At last, Stobart. Sorry, Mr. Rickenbacker. I I've been busy. Yeah, I damn well hope so. I'm watching the news. Oh, uh, anything interesting? Yeah, someone stole a painting. Oh, really? And it was one you insured. What's going on? Ah, uh, yes. Well, the guy was armed, sir. So? You think I should have thrown myself in front of the thief? Wrestled him to the ground? Got myself shot? Sure would have made me feel better. Anyway, find that painting, or give me a good reason not to pay out. Please tell me that you have some leads. I'm working on it. Alright, this is an awesome room. Lots of cool art drawings. Gives you that true point and click adventure. Nostalgic. Ooh, let me try to interact with everything on the desk. First off, got a goat up here. Got to click oh, on the goat. Man. The priest was right. Evil was abroad. That'll give me an achievement. I've already got the achievement for that on the Steam version. Played through this on a DRM free version. And uh, partly on Steam, but make sure you click on the goat. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. Nice statue. The statue was jaunty, up close and personal. I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. That's interesting. Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, lava lamp. It was hard to tell if the lava lamp was retro or just plain old. The calendar looked like a child's school project. Omri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. The CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. Hmm. 
we see on that calendar? Omri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. 27th of May is 0527. Let's try that. Booyah. I rewound the tape to before the robbery. This was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledixio. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. That was the earliest shot with anything interesting on it. So now, now we have to examine the different frames and find things that point out to George or stick out to George as possible clues. Was only studying that picture, or did so? You basically want to click on everything till you there find what he's looking more for. This robbery than I first thought. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Okay, so we've examined Henry and Maldicia. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledixio just before the robbery. Funny, the painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time. Just odd. A good view of La Maledixio. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. The killer caught in the act. There was nothing really distinctive about him. The moment it all went horribly wrong. There was some writing on the front of his helmet, but I couldn't quite make it out. The killer making his getaway. A logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. Hmm. That could be useful. That could be useful. The painting was gone. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look too suspicious. I hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. That was the last shot. I'd probably learned everything I could from the CCTV. And that's our hint that we have. There was nothing else in the drawer. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. Hmm. Vera Security. Let's call him. Hello, Vera Security. George Stobart here, Paris Mutual. Never heard of you. Really? Well, I'm surprised. Uh, we're leaders in our field in commercial insurance, and our brand recognition is... Do me a favor. Don't call back. The lady hung up. I was going to have to visit in person. That rude bitch. All right, let me play with your leaf. I opened the compartment again. David's got some interesting attire. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. I was fairly sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office.
What else can we look at? The guitar, yes. I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. Henri sure liked this clutter. Got it a was pipe. a hookah pipe. Got a hookah. Those things gave me a headache. Henri sure had his quirks. A pair of evil eyes stared from a partially covered poster. In the trash can, I found a crumpled letter from Henri's credit card company, demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Henri's financial problems weren't my business. But now I knew where he lived. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here. Watch and out, now hammer you nose. Are tampering with my evidence. So you have the choice uh, the choice to do truth or lie. Um, we'll go ahead and be the uh, the lying, George Stobert. I'm just looking for the name of the caterer that she's was to die for. Ah, to die for? Uh, or the basically the smartass, uh, George Stobert. I put it to you, monsieur. Monsieur Stobart. George Stobart. I put it to, to you that you came here in search of cheese and killed the owner in a fromage-induced frenzy. Well, no. I'm from Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Mm. Time will tell, monsieur. Truth will out, inspector. Who dares wins, Monsieur Stobart? He who laughs last laughs loudest, Inspector Nave. The guy was seriously nuts. May I remind you, Monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course, but I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord, but remember, anything you say can be used against you, Monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating amateur. to me, huh, pal? I solved four major quests before this. Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. Now... I must get on with my investigation. Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and Butch, monsieur. No? Rolling around on top of fast cars touch, with beautiful but... ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. Damn. This guy thinks he runs the shit. I had some valuable leads. But before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. Hey, Nico. You want to grab a quick cup of coffee? Bangy sure. Nico. It's important business. I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Lane will stay behind wants my to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. Two coffees, please. Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction, and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. He 
You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him too, but I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. We'll just exhaust, exhaust some options here. Well, the priest thinks La Meredith Seal is evil. Charles, she's just crazy. Because we like talking with Nico. Yeah, you're probably right. Long time friend. Something strange going on. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maladixio. Exactly. La Maladixio. I, I found the address of the security company Henri employed. It was not the one that I recommended. Good luck with your investigations. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Georges? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Great to mm -hmm. see you too, Nico. Good to see you, Nico. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life. Nico back in my life. All right, where to, Gumshoe? Let's go to Vera Security. The address led me to a dead end alley at the end of a deadbeat mall. No wonder I'd never heard of Vera Security. This guy's got a cool little kiosk. Check it out later. Whoa. Help! What's wrong? There's a monster. What? Where? It's On a the monster. floor. Get rid of it. Oh, the cockroach. Yes, the cockroach. Help! Come here, little fella. Get that little son bitch. I was never gonna catch it with my bare hands. There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. You can't catch a cockroach with your bare hands? Shit. What do we got over here? Cigarette pack. A Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. A crumpled cigarette pack. Matches. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches. But I never could resist. I emptied the matchbox, but decided to hold on to the matches. Let's catch us a roach. I set down my matchbox. Cockroaches like hiding in dark places. Not a bad idea when you think about it. Hmm. Cockroach wasn't going for it. I needed some bait. Hmm. It's a smart cockroach, eh? Hello, I'm... Cockroach! I see the little beggar. <laughs> She's got issues. Hello, I'm George Stobart. Call me Bassam. 
And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I have a resounding headache. Bad migraine, eh? The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners used to be a restaurant. But this is horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. You want me to try fixing that sign for you? Do you know what you're doing? Nah. I'm very good fucking at Fucking wing things. it. Then please do. I'm no good at electricals. Yeah. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. Electricals, very difficult. Could you help me with a vermin problem, please? Please, Mr. Stobart, I really can't deal with other people's problems right now. So he's of no use till he fixes his sign. I took a good look at the sign. The wiring was exposed and the cover broken. No wonder it was flashing. I pulled the wire off. Well, that was one way to stop the letters flashing. Now only half the sign was illuminated. The buzzing and flashing has stopped. And I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When you're building a it's brand a from the sign. ground up, name is everything. I need a name that makes my there customers long for adventure and treasures from faraway places. I could take a look at your sign, come up with something. You're like a genie from a magic lamp. Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college while giving me field experience. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet subtle and symbolic. Let's see what we can do. Rearrange the letters to form a new word that is appropriate for Bassam's predicament. The letters that form the new word need to be lit. So they must be placed in the seven sockets on the right side of the sign. Interact and pick up a letter and then move it over an empty socket. Interact again and drop the letter into that empty socket. Okay. Seems, seems the letters could be moved around. Seems Ship. easy enough. I have to think of something else. I think Aladdin's a good name. Aha. That seemed like a good name. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but... Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USPs. That's borderline Why racist in like 2018. It? You're a genius, George. Let me know Got if I can do a lot of make associations. Anyways, folks, that wraps it up. We'll see you soon with more Broken Sword 5, Serpent Curse.